yesterday I cut around this tree couldn't see the trunk at all and actually last year I had cut I had cut all the growth the weed trees basically but what happened what they do is they send out shoots like this let's see if I can find a big one like this so this grew, this, it's June, this grew this spring, and uh, out of this stump that I hadn't cut the, uh, this is the weed here, look at the size of that thing. I think it's Osage Orange, because it's got thorns. But I also have trouble with the bush honeysuckle, and it does the same thing. So it's possibly it's a bush honeysuckle with thorns, I don't know. Look at the size of that thing. And uh, there's still some of it up in the tree that I wasn't able to get. I mean, I could, but you have to keep cutting and cutting it because it laces up in the tree. Look at it all. But that won't, those are all dead without a connection to the ground they can't they can't do anything so uh actually this one looks like it was alive this one had a connection to the ground so i hadn't cut it all but anyway so now i'm trying to haul it away so the point is it's not enough to just cut it and think it's going to die you have to cut it and haul it out. There isn't, I'd show you an example of a tree that's, that's, uh, but this tree was particularly, it was just filled. In fact, see, you can see all those weeds around the base of it. So inside of that was all that weed tree. And, uh, now I'm trying to haul it away, but, uh, you know, if I had to cut it into smaller pieces, I could stack it more easily. And it's got these damn thorns. See, it's orange. I think it's Osage orange. Or yellow. But, uh... But, uh... You know, it's work to cut. Every cut is work. So you try and minimize the number of cuts. But now it's falling off the trailer. So I got to rope it back on. I'm going to drag it over to my weed field. I'm going to have a big pile of, pile of wood at my weed field. I already have a, somewhat of a pile. And I've got another Osage orange to cut down, which I might do. Maybe I'll do it today. I've been putting it off. Partly because I want to make a big deal of it. Partly because I need to pull it over with the tractor one of these trees over here it's got big thorns I've already started cutting it well I'll wait until I can get the tractor over there maybe later this afternoon maybe after I get them bushes dumped I'll do it I guess I'll go ahead and cut this big daddy down I've been uh, delaying this project Kind of a long time. I already, I kind of started on him. I wanted him to know that his days were numbered. This is black cherry. See, I started cutting him already. That doesn't bother him. He's not afraid. But he's gonna. I think this is it. Now. Can't have him fall the wrong way. And I don't guess there's any chance. I was gonna tie him a rope to the tractor. So I pull him, but then it's gonna be hard to get a rope in there. But one thing I guess I need to do is cut off these branches that are hanging over this way because I don't want him falling towards the barn. So I guess I'll cut that branch you know, another thing I could do is I could cut that branch. I could cut that one and that one and 
kind of do it uh, piece by piece, which I've had, which is uh, stuff I've done in the past. See this wind is blowing the wrong way too. But I gotta do it. I think I just wait for the wind to die down. It's not steady. See it's already it's pretty well died down just now, so yeah I think I think this is it. He's gonna go. Look at the size of the thorns on this thing. I think that other wasn't really a Osage I don't know. They had orange wood, different type. See, this has got the little leaves. I don't think that one, that other one didn't have little leaves like this. But anyway, I don't like anything with thorns, really. Especially thorns like that. Yikes, look at the size of those things. Crazy, it's crazy. How is a tree like this allowed to grow? Look at the way it's grown into this fence. It's a part of the fence right there, see? I'll have to cut that fence to get it completely out. And I want it completely out. But, I don't know, I might leave the, this much today. Just take it to here. Today, maybe. We'll see. That'll be enough. That'll be a lot of work. I cut that branch, but it didn't fall clear. I didn't want to keep cutting it. Although I probably could have. At any rate, at this point I'm going to uh, pull it with the tractor, pull it down with the tractor. At this point, I think I'm probably drag it all the way over there. to me like that branch will fall the way I want it towards me at the moment with one exception and that is that branch is one branch see going out that way I think I'll cut that off and then wait for the breeze to go down and I'd say it'll fall that way I better move the tractor but uh, it looks to me like it's all hidden in that direction pretty heavily. I'm getting into a different tree to uh, cut down, cut it down, and so that I am sort of protected.
I didn't get it all dragged away. There's some sitting there. There's still a stump left. But I got the majority of it. And I wanted to show, say too, it would have been a nice video. Well, two things. One, as you back through these weeds, you can't see where you're going. They're so tall. But I know it's flat land. So it's like you can't see nothing. And then the other thing I wanted to say was I was able to push it like a bulldozer. That scoop's very powerful. And uh, see where that all that poison hemlock there, there's another pile of trees there. I guess maybe in the dead of winter I'll be able to burn it.